is James? Hello, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Come out of the closet, James. <laughs> hey, Kel, calm down. <laughs> what are you up to today, then? Key light loft ladder. I've not fitted one of these before. I'm hoping it's going to be just as easy as their roof windows, if not easier. That'd be good. There's quite a few different sizes actually. We searched through loads of them uh, to find the one that would be suitable for this building. And we sort of designed the room around the ladder as it were. So we, we chose the size hatch we wanted. We didn't want to go too big. It's not a massive space up there. It's just to get a bit of storage. So we chose the one we wanted in width and length. We had all the dimensions. They gave us the opening dimension, which is the important one for us. And we built our ceiling and uh, ceiling to that. Yeah, so we've, we've trimmed it all off at those positions. We just put some angle bead around the opening. And although that's reduced the actual opening size of about three millimeters, well, six millimeters either direction, it's still okay to get this in. But I checked that, that was okay. Worst case, we just knocked them off because it's going to have an architrave around it anyway. Yeah, but so, you, so you put that so the plasterer had something to finish to. Exactly, yeah, so you get a nice finished job. If we come to it and we had to knock them off, it's not the end of the world. An important feature of this, because you know when I look at that roof up there, you've obviously got pitch roof. Yeah. And if you want to run the ladder that way, you can't have one of those ladders that slides yeah, up. It goes and up and over, yeah. So this can't. this ladder actually folds up within its own footprint, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So all you the only space you need, I mean our joist will be from probably there to about there. Mm. So you've probably got about, I don't know, 150 mil above it. That's all you need, the space, and the, and you clear everywhere else is fine. What we've got here. So these these are a couple of feet. They go, I recognise those. They go on the bottom of the uh, the ladder. Supply the fixings. Rod for opening. Now, because I did watch a video on this, I've just spotted something, and I know what it is already. And funny enough, you made the comment <laughs> that you don't want to throw these away. And because of the way it's packaged, you can see exactly why. Yeah. It's that baton there. Which looks like a packing piece. It just looks like a bit of protection, but it's, it's got another function. Yeah, I mean, you can see where that clip is there and there. And that batten has been made exactly to that size. So that will finish flush with our ceiling, this end and one at that end. And then we push these up into it, but you'll see that when we push it up. Really clever. That's what I really like, which is I'm hoping it's going to make it super easy. Because in the past we've done these similar ones and we've had to screw battens across underneath so it doesn't drop through, but then you've got to be in the loft to drop it down. Yeah. And then you've got to fix it, and then you've got to have a mate underneath that can undo the battens, unless they've gone to tea because they're having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're stuck up That's in the loft. That's what they do to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but this is really good, so it's fully, it's, it's all fitted from underneath. It's a one-man job. Yeah. Why would they staple that on? Well, Before I take it apart, I might have a look in the instructions. Yeah, I, I, I can tell you something about this. this that's actually the footprint of the loft ladder. So okay. if you now put that up into your opening, yeah. those two battens should fit exactly oh, into the... where you want them to fit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, so, and this is so nice and square. So if that's flush with the bottom, yeah. then those two battens are automatically where you need them. That's not to say you can fit them there, but you can. it just means you can try I can your, put that in like that. You can try your hatch out, exactly. Oh, uh, no, okay. Just, just, just well, use it to try. What, what it's basically there for is a template, so that if you're cutting an opening into an existing ceiling or whatever, trimming it, yeah, you, okay, yeah. you can use that. But if you just want to test that now, yeah. Moment of truth, James. <laughs> what are you filming it then? <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, mate. You can use a tape measure, can't you? That's lovely. That's oh, perfect. well, I've got, I've got to say Ian did this. So. Oh, did he? Oh, good. Ian. There we go. Brilliant. Because you always cut them off. It's flush. Yeah, I don't, these don't actually go flush. It's slightly like uh, a V-groove in there. Put that there. That's it. Four millimetres. There. Yeah, four mil. Same on the other side. Our next 
thing we need to do is remove the actual ladder from the hatch because that's going to be quite heavy to lift all that up in one go and awkward and you're likely to drop it and damage it and the wardrobes and everything else and the floor and your head and all. <laughs> I've just been looking through the instructions and it actually shows that on the end of this, the bar for removing it, is a little square piece or it's been made square on the end which is to unlock the thing but it also serves a purpose in the fitting of it yeah. and that loosens off four screws around which allows us to take the ladder out completely and it's quite important it says the maximum you should undo it or maximum turn is 360 degrees which is quite useful because you've got a yeah. thing there so we know that we can turn it right down back to that's, it. that's it that's enough. no more than that and that's enough to loosen it off to get this ladder out This side has got two fixed lugs on there, and this side is the special bit. As we push it through, it's going to go past that button and sit and straight back it. on it. Yeah, this is like flip fit on the exact on the roof windows, exactly like that. So this is this is it. This is the special bit. Okay, so we go up there. Does it fit? I remember this before actually. I remember this very problem. Go higher that end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. So that's there. That's it. We're in. We've clicked. Next page. Open the hatch. Yep. it's got no weight on it. So yeah, in the instructions it says you can measure from corner to corner, which we often do to check things are square, but in this situation, just like putting a roof window in, it's just as easy to push this door shut and check your parallel gaps all the way around. If it's parallel, it's square. Now that we know we're square, I've fixed this side down. This is my free side. All I need to do is just make up the packers to fill that gap, just to fill them, and then put the screws in, just nip them up, and that'll be perfect. Uh, so you can push them in from top or bottom. I'm just doing it from the top for the sake of it, because it keeps it out of the way. Just there's no, no likelihood of anything sticking through that's gonna foul the architrave when it goes around. But it doesn't matter either way around. It's entirely up to you. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That's all the fixings done. We've got two battens in. We've dropped it in with our special sprung clips. We've fixed it on either side of it. Now we're ready to put the ladder on. If anybody wants to know, convert that into stone if you need to. There we go. Ladder's secured to the hatch. This Allen key here, there's four of them in total, one for each bracket. What I should have done before I unpacked the whole thing out of the box was undo that. Like that. I'll do the others as well. Go so on. what should have happened is this should have come all of the way out before I even took the ladder off of the door, in fact. Um, now, the, partly the reason is I'm not, I'm not trying to... Uh, past the buck or anything, is that they've slightly changed the design on this handle side. Uh, and in the instructions it shows that there's a little Allen key on the outside of the handle. And that's the only one it seems to show in the instructions. So when I saw it, that there was no Allen key there, I thought, okay, maybe they've just done away with that then. Yeah, so that will now fit in that little, right out to there. Once this is tightened up, there's no chance of that can slip back now because it's all fitting in there. Okay, so this, this is where they've changed it. These ones are now done from the inside, whereas on the instructions they still show that the uh, screw is on the outside. What that means for us is now that that's in that position, when you're walking up the ladder, you've got a great big gap there for your toe to go in, so you're, you're putting your foot properly on each step. 
you're not having to put your foot sideways or anything so that's the reason it needs to come off one of the main reasons that this has to be done first before we cut the ladder down is that when this is moved further away not only is it coming out this way but it's also very slightly rising up so that means this ladder is now coming up away from the floor if you fit that with that tight to the door and you cut the feet off then you pull it out it's going to be too short way too long way too long so what it tells us to do but you want to measure from the back of this piece so yeah. right there yeah. down to the floor straight down to yeah, the floor yeah. so if we keep our tape in line the step we've got 330 okay okay so our 330 measurement is now from here because that joins onto the back of there yeah. all the way down here well not all the way but 330 down right on the tread right on the tread is it Yes, but that's fine. We'll go to one side of the tread and adjust the top if we need to. Which side are you going to go to? I'm going to go this side. It's literally on that dovetail. So we're going to go to this side of the tread, 90 degrees down, and then we'll fit our feet on the bottom. Whilst I've got it like this though, I might just show you something I quite like about this. The backs of these treads you can see, it's got like a sliding dovetail that goes right oh, into the sides of these okay. string parts, which is great. That's never coming apart. Glued and dovetailed all the way through. Blind dovetail on the front, so it's not poking out. It will never come all the way through, but also stops showing any splinters on the front. Mm. But that is rock solid, really good construction. Fortunately, because it's worked out right on the edge, or just in a step to the step about there, I don't need to worry about that. I can work. I can use the step to be my guide. Always let your step be your guide. So if I draw a line across there, so that's a 90 degree cut because this foot that fits on the bottom, which is going to fit onto there like that, you see, it's already got that angle on it. Yeah. So there's no no messing around trying to work out angles or anything like that. There, like that. There. It slots into the end of these feet a good 20 millimetres. Oh, so good. any little bit of rough edge on there, you know, you wipe it off and that just pushes straight over and covers it all up. There is actually sort of a base that it sits on inside there. So it'd be nice to make full contact with that. For the, for the actual saw you use, as long as you can handle a saw and you can keep it fairly square and straight, then you're good to go, I think. Okay, there we go. Oh. That's nice, nice and snug. Well, that's it. That's it. It should be away from there. That's the place to lock the kids. <laughs> yeah, because you can't not do it from the other side. Don't tell the kids that they're flipping egg. Uh, right, so all that's left to do now is uh, a bit of architrave around the edge. And that's and it. we're done. If you've never done one of these before, there's no point in rushing it. They're really quick to put in, but there's no point in rushing it. I mean, you're spending, you know, just over 100 quid for a loft ladder. And 100 quid's 100 quid. You don't want to throw it away. So it's a nice loft ladder. It's insulated and it looks really nice when it's done. Uh, and even walking up and down it is nice, nice big treads, non-slip, dovetailed in. So take your time, but even if you're taking your time, it's not going to take you more than a day, honestly. It's, it's really good, nice and easy to put in and nice to use. Look at that. All right, I'll see you later, mate. <laughs>